Hello everyone, this is Dr. Andrew Chrysler teaching EE3325 Electromagnetics at Idaho State University. In this series of videos, I'm going to be talking about Faraday's Law, providing an introduction and some uh, basic concepts. You can follow along in the textbook, Fundamentals of Applied Electromagnetics, 7th edition. Uh, this will be in Chapter 6, primarily covering Sections 6.1 and 6.2. So first, I want to provide a little bit of an introduction. So we have Faraday's law. Uh, we have a differential form on the left and an integral form on the right. On the right, we will assume that we have a stationary surface uh, that it, the magnetic field is passing through. So that surface is, is not moving. So the integral form is what we are going to primarily deal with. So let's take a look at the integral form and think about what this means. So on the left side, we can see that this is going to be a voltage. We remember this from chapter four. We're going to call this voltage the transformer voltage, the V EMF TR. EMF stands for electromotive force. On the right side, we're going to have a time varying magnetic field that's passing through some kind of surface. We're going to make this derivative operate over all of time and space, and so we're going to move it outside of the integral. And we're going to come up with a definition for the transformer voltage that looks like this at the bottom. Now, if you remember the left side of the integral in chapter four, we said that that was equal to zero. And that was because we didn't have a time varying field. Because the magnetic field is going to be time varying, the transformer voltage might have a value besides zero volts in this case and in this chapter. So looking further at the integral form of Faraday's law, we have this equation. We're gonna do the integral on the right side so much, we're gonna give it its own name. We're gonna call it the magnetic flux. That's the amount of the magnetic field that's passing through that surface that we're interested in. So looking at this a bit more, we're gonna look at this right side and we're gonna imagine that we have a bunch of surfaces all stacked up. So a bunch of surfaces that are layered together. So this would be like a magnetic field that's passing through some loops of wire. So we will say that's n number of loops of wire. Each loop of wire is a new surface, and but it has the same integral. So if we did this integral for n different loops, we would add an n there. So we're going to have an equation that looks like this. So coming to the end, we have the integral form of Faraday's law that we started with for n different loops, n different surfaces. We define the transformer voltage as being that integral on the right, the closed loop integral. And then we have a flux that we defined as well. So consolidating this, we will see this equation that appears uh, throughout the book that describes the transformer voltage for n number of loops of, of wire, um, it being the time derivative of the magnetic flux. So we have n loops of wire and the magnetic flux through one loop is phi.